So I make a mental note of what it is trying to convey. So the messages from the mind are not useless. How to make the mind rest? Or in a way you are asking your mind not to do its work. If mind is asking, I will not do the work, then that will be the tragedy, see. Right? But you are asking, right? I, I get the question, but who is, where is this separation coming? Who is recognizing that mind is busy? Uh, okay, who is that me that is questioning? You have to understand that. Second thing, Babuji's words again, he used to say, eyes are to see, nose is to smell, ears are to hear, and so his brain or mind is to think. Don't try to stop it. Okay, but he would add one line, make sure that it thinks what it what you want it to think you want it to think on the presence of divine light that's the beginning and we prayerfully wait that this thought of presence of divine light hopefully can turn into a divine experience however temporary then a stage comes where you would like this experience to turn into becoming that experience. And then a time comes when you have become, you feel so happy of achieving something. There is some sort of joy there. This Babuji says, it happens automatically that you transcend that into a state of nothingness, meaning you transcend the bliss. Okay, so this gradation, graduation or transcendence from thinking to feeling to experiencing to become the experience to anandam to nothingness, it's a gradual process. Have patience. Whenever I used to meditate my earlier days, as a student also, Sometimes I would say, well, Aj, I will study this. These thoughts will keep coming in my mind. You better take this chapter, better read this chapter. And I would just grab that chapter and finish it off after the meditation. So I make a mental note of what it is trying to convey. So the messages from the mind are not useless. My friends started coming. Babuji ke samne betta ho and I am thinking of her, see. It's like Tauba, Tauba, Bhagavan Bachai and I was sweating from all over my body, see. I tell you the fact. And it bothered me so much. I was profusely sweating and then I was tightening my jaws so deeply. And then I opened my eyes and then closed. And then there was some relief. Then some understanding arose in my heart. Why am I fighting? He knows everything. He is the one who picked it up from the bottom of my consciousness, trying to take it out. Why must I interfere? Let him do whatsoever he wants to do. So then after this understanding saved all my meditations, the thoughts, they come because Master is working. But some thoughts which are created by us, we have to stop them somehow by attending to what it suggests. Mistakes are committed, you can't correct it anymore. If you did any mistake, 
towards your parents, just say sorry. That should settle.